right, third graders, today we are going to be making our PayPal picados. And this is something that I've kind of been working on for a while here. I've got three flags assembled on my piece of yarn. So what's gonna happen is there is some yarn out at your table. You are gonna measure a wingspan. There's also going to be some tape dispensers at your table to share with your neighbors. And you're going to need to go to the drive-thru and make some choices about what color flags you would like. Once you get to your seat, you're gonna start by cutting out some of your flags. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. That's what it's gonna look like. Before I start to cut, I need to first fold. So whether you have a bigger or a smaller paper, you are gonna fold your paper in half like a hamburger. This is in half like a hot dog. You need to fold it in half like a hamburger. I line up the edges. I hold with one hand and make a crease or a fold with the other. I need to fold my hamburger in half again. Now I have this thin rectangle. I need to fold one more time in half, but instead of going in half this way, I need to go in half the opposite way. All right. With a pencil, I need to make a dot on either side of the folded corner. So if my paper folds like this, I see it makes a V. I need to make a dot on the V side. Dot, dot. This, these two dots are reminding me that I cannot cut all the way across on this folded side. If I do that, my paper will be cut in half. I like to plan out what shapes to cut with a pencil. However, you might want to experiment. Some I plan, some I cut right away. I'm going to plan first. So that means I'm going to draw some shapes on my paper. I'm only drawing about a half of a shape right on the edge. So whether that's squares or triangles, should there be a shape right here in the middle? Nope, I'm not going to be able to get my scissors there. A semicircle. Same thing on the other side. Whether you choose to do the same shapes or different, that's up to you. You're the artist. Now on this side where I don't have the dots, I can have a cut that goes all the way across. I might want to have a bumpy line there. I'm ready to cut. So I'm gonna cut on those lines that I drew the best that I can. If you have ever made snowflakes, this is kind of a similar technique. I'm removing shapes to create some negative space. All right, I've cut out all of my shapes. I'm gonna sweep these little scraps and make a pile so that will be easier to clean up. Once I have cut out all of those shapes, I'm gonna open it up and see what kind of PayPal Picado I have created. Voila, I have another flag to add to my design. So once you have a flag that's ready to add to your design, you are going to lay out your string nice and flat on your table. And I've kind of got some more flags, so I have to kind of swing them around. Your flag is going to go underneath your yarn. The yarn's going to be on top. And with a small piece of tape, no bigger than about half of your finger, sometimes even smaller, you're gonna tape the yarn to your flag. Just a few pieces. We're trying our best to make that tape not appear in our design. It's kind of, we're trying to hide the tape. So try to be sneaky in the size and in where you put it. All right, I've got a flake down. Let's look how to fold and cut one more time and then it will be your turn. So I'm gonna slide this off to the side. Make sure my little pile is there. I'm gonna make a smaller flake this time. However, even though it's smaller, I'm gonna fold it the same. So fold it in half like a hamburger and half again and half the other way. I need to make two dots in the folded corners. 
this shows me where not to cut and then I'm going to draw some shapes. I'm drawing with a crayon this time so that you can see it a little bit better and just point out to you that you want to make sure that your shapes aren't touching. I have about a finger's space in between there so that my shapes aren't going to touch. All right, I have cut out my shapes. I'm going to sweep my scraps off to the side. Open up my PayPal Picado. Oh, I have a really cool design. This needs to get taped on my piece of yarn with my sneaky hidden tape. So lay my yarn flat on top. Small pieces of tape, taping it in on top. I have a really cool flag that I'm making. Once I have a few different um, PayPal Picados assembled on my yarn, I need to make sure that my name goes on one of these pieces. So maybe with a colored crayon, write your name, Mrs. C, as big as you can, and your class code. You might even want to write it at the beginning and the end. So in case when I'm taking them down, I know whose is whose. Mrs. C, and my class code. 